Hey Scorpio, how you doing? Welcome. We're gonna be doing your first half of August general reading here. We're gonna start off with some animal energy, but of course, and then get right into the cards. All right, what is the animal energy for Scorpio first half of August? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> first of all, bottom of the deck is the crow, number one. Number two, you got two here, and they're giving me life. So you've got two winged creatures, so you've got the owl and the humming, okay. I can't because it just lines up so beautifully with what I saw in your meditation. So I'm having a moment. Um, a lot of air energy here. <laughs> First of all, you've got two air animals here. Um, so let's start with the owl. Athena energy here, right? So the owl is very much about inner wisdom, clairvoyance, clear seeing. And I very much got, because I in your meditation, it was very dragon-esque energy, which is all about clear seeing, clear seeing of oneself and others, right? In Scorpios, I, I very much uh, connect with dragon energy for a multitude of reasons, but so this is about clear seeing, so I'm not surprised to see this at all come up for y'all, but now the hummingbird, this is everything. Now the hummingbird is a, okay, so you know the saying of like attracts like? The hummingbird very much embodies that, but on the lighter side of things. So it's like, this is about the sweetness of life. It's about aromatherapy, aroma of flowers, things that smell really good, really igniting your sense of smell around that. But also really, we could take this literally as in like following your nose, right? Like, like really going with um, what from a sensory perspective you feel drawn towards um, in a very uh, light, an airy and uh, innocent type of way, right? The hummingbird is all about, you know, drawing towards you love, drawing towards you um, relationships, situations that just have a lightness of being about them. This is the owl and the hummingbird. Listen, like whenever I get the hummingbird, um, whenever I'm reading for someone, this is always very, very auspicious. It's like, oh boy, okay, there's no more carrying over of the past or carrying a heavy load. We don't feel burdened. We're not overthinking. We're literally being an experiencer in the moment. This is a very moment to moment being in the here and now energy. And then aligned with the with the owl, which is seeing things clearly in wisdom. <clears throat> I, uh, good Lord, let's see what comes out. I'm excited to see what comes out for you guys at the owl and the hummingbird. And the crow peeking out on the bottom there. Woo, you guys might be in for, for some good, sweet, fun, you know, dog days of summer times here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So in the first position here, which is the past energy that could affect the now, we have the hermit card, which is gorgeous because do you see this star here? So this star, and you know, it's depicted in lantern here too. That is the star from the star card, which is Aquarius energy. I just saw 333 on my timer. I feel like the signs and synchronicities are going to be really ramped up for you guys now more than ever, but I feel like I feel like they've always been there in abundance for you guys lately, but I feel like now you're just gonna be seeing them more with the owl, like you're gonna be noticing what was already there and with the hummingbird, stopping to smell the flowers, really being in the here moment. There's something about you're seeing things a lot, you know, that maybe were always there, but you're seeing them now in a more actualized, physicalized way. It's not something that just lives in the ether, like, oh, signs and wonders, like I'm seeing all these signs. It's, it feels like there's either a lot of them happening at once, these signs and symbols and synchronicities from the universe, or there's something about it that's just extra special and ramped up. There's not a lot of questions here. It's just a true knowing, a clear seeing. You know, this hermit here, you know, the hermit represents the empath. Right? So we have Virgo energy here. The hermit is the empath um, for me. So this is about really going inside of yourself, right? To really glean that wisdom and forward direction and clarity, right? But if you are, you know, kind of a hermit type, you have Virgo in your chart, or you may be in this place where it's like you may feel the need 
you know, before you can come into this actualized place, it could be that you go into an owl energy and come out the hummingbird as well. Because sometimes we really have to remove ourselves from external stimuli or other people's energies and just keep our energy our own to get really clear on whatever, right? Ourselves, other people, for direction, whatever have you. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this is, ooh, Lord. Let's see what else is going on for y'all. <laughs> Of course. So we got the Knight of Swords here. There's a lot of air energy in this reading. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I never feel the need to say that, but I do now because of the air in this reading. Knight of Swords. Let's talk about this because remember when I said that, you know, the hermit goes inside to glean the truth of things, <laughs> to get a clear, you know, direction moving forward or whatever that is. Then you've got the Knight of Swords, which is a quick, swift incoming. This could be message, communication of some sort. This can be from or about somebody else, if that makes sense. Because we also have the Canary here. And the Canary is very much about using your words, speaking your truth, understanding that what you say and how you say it will have a considerable impact on others depending on how and with what energy you deliver your truth, the truth, message, whatever, whatever it is. Okay? Um, it's interesting. You know, some of you really may be going into this time to really think about, you know, the, what the truth is for yourself. Or Again, please remember, these can always be read in reverse. But this really, really feels like there is something that is seen really clearly that takes like a removal from outer stimuli to really get clear about. And then it's like you, you hit the ground running out of this hermit mode. It's like, okay, I got it. Message received. I'm clear on it. And it's like, -up, 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 like off to the races. Charge. That's what this very much feels like to me. But guess what? We haven't even pulled any other cards here. But I'm telling you, from this hummingbird energy, remember, owl is seeing things clearly in inner wisdom, clairvoyance. And the hummingbird is this true feel good. I and mean, this is all the feel goods. True lightness of being, right? This is also a full alignment of the chakras within you. Everything is clean. You're a true receiver. There's no holding on of, you know, baggage or doubt or, um, you know, shuffling one's feet. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. This feels like a really important time. It really, really does. It feels like a really important time. That's setting you up for something that's going to be, uh, have a lot of longevity. Okay, guys. Ace of Swords. <laughs> Good Lord, what is going on? More air energy here. <laughs> this is Excalibur. This is the sword and the stone. Now think about this. Let's go with this, shall we? We have the Hermit, right? So let's imagine this sword of truth, right? Whatever this truth is, is in the stone. You go into Hermit mode, and that's your process of extracting the sword. Then you have the sword. You're running forward with the sword with the communication of the truth or a new direction for yourself, right? And then you've got this sword at the end that's like you're holding it up after you've won the battle and it's like, yes! Then you're about to get real clear, real, real, real clear. You are about to have more answers than questions. And I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I, I really, really do. Let's get some clarifiers here, but this, I feel like a crackling, excited, charged energy. It feels, like a time and point of your life that you will remember for a long time to come. Good Lord. Okay, let's uh, get a clarifier for this hermit here. <laughs> All right, so we got the Five of Cups, Cups here, finally repping your water sign selves. <laughs> this is like an air sign reading over here. Um, you know, the Five of Cups, is, you know, some feelings of loss, lamenting what could have been, lamenting what wasn't, lamenting, you know, this is the releasing and walking away or, or the loss of something, someone. Um, you know, going to the hermit mode, the fact that this is, you know, this hermit mode for you could just be getting really, really clear on why something didn't work or why it's, the writing is on the wall <laughs> about whatever this is. Friendship, relationship, job, dream, career, whatever this is for you. Family, for some of you, it feels like. 
You know, and we have another horse here too, and we have it here depicted in the Knight of Swords. There's something here about, I almost wanna say like a safe bet, something that you thought was gonna go one way or something that you would've really bet money on. I keep getting this like horse race kind of analogy. Something that you really would have bet money on working out or going a certain way or panning out, you know, perhaps didn't. And you're going into hermit mode to really get clear on why or get clear on, on what you actually want moving forward. But I'm going to pull some more. It feels very um, like a real quick recovery and turnaround time. It, okay, that's what it is. It feels like whatever this is that did not work out or didn't pan out or a realization of some sort, this could even be a realization that, you're, that the line of work you're in is it does not fill your heart with joy and it's not your sole purpose, right? This could be a lot of different things. It's general, but I think going into this hermit mode, it's going to illuminate for you that the real reason that this went the way of the dodo or whatever it was is because your true calling lies elsewhere or with someone else. And that is what's going to, that's why it's a quick turnaround time. Because you're going in to kind of like heal this and figure out, <clears throat> you know, why it didn't pan out a certain way. And it's like, oh my God, the writing was on the wall all along. It's not that person, it's this person. It's not that job, it's this job. It's not that city, it's this country. Whatever that is for you. Jeez. Okay, let's get a clarifier for this Knight of Swords here. Okay, this one wants to come out. Whoa. Okay, guys, you've got Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands, darling. So remember, the Wands uh, rule the realm of passion, desire, forward direction, artistry, movement. You've got two knights here. Remember, remember I keep getting this horse race thing and the knights are definitely depicted on horses. There's something about, it, there's just like an elevated speed here, but it feels safe and good. It doesn't feel like, whoa, 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 hold your horses, move it a little fast, let's think about it. I don't feel any of that with you guys. I feel like just opening up the gate and letting you gallop through to wherever you're going because you, you it's just, it's, you've got it. You're right. Why do I feel the need to say that? You're right about whatever this new direction is, whatever this realization is, whatever this change is, you're right about it. I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but I feel the need to say it. It's like, you're right. I've never noticed that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they're showing uh, this to me in the form of like a dandelion. Do you remember when you were a kid? Well, not everybody did this, but I certainly did. As a kid, you would, you know, pick a dandelion and they would say, make a wish, blow it and make a wish. It feels like you're rushing towards a wish of yours. Remember, this can always be read in reverse. This could be someone having a realization about you, okay? But it really feels like you're rushing towards a wish of yours for the sake of the narrative. I'm going to keep it about you. <laughs> it, I feel like for a lot of you, it involves the heart. So it could be romantic or it could be a point of direction that fills your heart with joy and purpose. Okay. Good Lord. And it feels like a real sure thing. I, I very rarely get to say that. <laughs> But it really does. It feels sure you've got two knights here and the aces. Let's see what else come. I get I just good lord. Scorpio readings lately have just been blowing my mind. <laughs> and speaking of mind blowing things, we have the tower. Now, I love this. By the way, tower is your card. Um, you know, for you guys, for me, it's the death card and the tower card that represent you guys because you guys are about death, transformation, and change. And the tower denotes great change. Now let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So the tower I like to call the great rearranger, right? It's the universe coming in to call from our path anything that isn't of our highest and best good. This is when the universe acts as a vacuum cleaner and literally sucks up anything that is keeping us from our sole purpose and what's truly in our highest and best good. Now, why I'm obsessed with this is it's paired with the, because this is really positive. This is really, really positive, okay? 
Did you guys hear that? That was really funny. <laughs> really funny sound effect there. Thank you. Um, but this Ace of Swords with this tower, I do feel like it's going to change everything. Wait. Ooh. They're trying my attention to this red rose here too. For some, okay. For some of you, and, and again, this hummingbird, it, you know, can talk about attracting romantic bliss into your life. This feels very much like you're gonna rush forward with this truth or again towards you, this realization. You're gonna take this huge risk. You're not even gonna second guess yourself because you took the time to get real clear and real sure about it. With the hermit and the five of cups and the owl here as well. Visions. Really? Visions. I'm hearing some of you guys might actually have visions, like clairvoyant visions. Like dreams, yes, definitely, possibly dreams. <laughs> definitely, possibly dreams. No, um, dreams for some of you, but I feel like some of you might actually have literal visions. I feel like for some of you, it could become right before you're going to sleep or right as you're waking up. Those are the two times a day that we're most directly connected to source, right? You might actually have a vision of someone's face or a place or, or something like that. Very interesting, but it's going to change everything. And it has to do with your heart. Okay, it has to do with your heart, whether it's a line of work that you really, really love, a person you really, really love, or whatever that is for you, but it's absolutely going to change everything, which is really, really cool. I feel like getting a goddess oracle for you guys. This is, wow. Okay. Let's get a goddess guidance for you guys. I just... I mean, look at this. You, you, <laughs> you, you know, you have the empath here. You, you go into hermit mode to get really clear and, and to kind of figure out, you know, why, you know, this sense of what, what hasn't worked or what needs to be released or why things didn't work out a certain way. Then you've got Knight of Wands clarifying the Knight of Swords, rushing ahead truthfully and, and assuredly towards what you really want and what you wish for. Using your voice and your truth and being real clear about this in a way that changes absolutely everything and happens swiftly. I really feel like some of you guys are running towards a person or a person's running towards you. I do. Okay, let's get a goddess guidance. Lord. Whoa. Let's see if there's one more. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Whoa. Okay, this is, okay. So, first of all, we have White Tara sensitivity. You're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environment, situations, and chemicals. I feel like this is direct, uh, speaking directly to the hermit. Okay, and you are becoming more sensitive. Remember when we talked about the clairvoyance with the owl? A lot of downloads and some actual visions, okay? Um, this is basically the, her the hermit personified, absolutely. Um, remember when I talked about the empath and keeping your energy your own? This is exactly what this is talking about. You need to do that to get clarity around this, to be a knight and, and go forward in this confident way because then you have divine passion. Are you serious? Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Haven't we been talking about truth and clarity and honesty and all of these things. And do you see the red in the hummingbird and how it's lining up here? Let's look at the red. I feel the need to look at the red in this reading. So we have the red with the hummingbird here, the volcanic like eruption with this divine passion. We have the red rose, which, which speaks of heart's desire. If there ever was such a, you know, I mean, come on, it's a red rose. And then we have the fire of the tower, fire and fire, be honest, with yourself, what is your heart's true desire, and then freaking go for it. Go for it. You being in the hermit mode is you being honest with yourself about what that is, even if it's different than what you thought it was at the beginning of you know this journey. I, I'm literally seeing like an epiphany, oh, an epiphany, like an explosion, like a volcano, and, and like the tower, fire, fire and fire. I really feel like that's what it is too, because there's a very quickened pace after this hermit time. 
And I feel like it is gonna be like an explosion, eruption. You have two knights here, knight of wands. Do you know that the knight of wands and the knight of swords, right? These, these are the fastest knights there are. Knight of cups and knight of pentacles are, you know, their horses are standing in place. These horses are going forward, right? You have the two fastest knights there are and running towards your true heart's desire because you're gonna be real sure about what that is or who that is, right? Remember the red. I'm also, the red represents the root chakra, right? Which is about being grounded and sure and feeling very, um, just like, yes, this is it. I don't have doubts. This is what connects me to the earth and grounds me in. And I, I have no doubts about this because I took the time to really make my energy my own and figure this out. And I feel like you're, you're rushing towards wish fulfillment, your, your dream, your wish, your true desire. Scorpio, you better work. Just again, with this owl and this hummingbird here, this is absolutely everything that there is. And I, I, it's again, with these winged creatures, moving at a swiftness, the ability to travel from one place to another quickly. Good Lord, okay? I am really excited for you guys. Um, I'm a little mind blown. I might need like a little tea after this because I'm like, oh, that was insane in a really beautiful way. So I'm excited for you guys. I really hope that this helped and resonated. Um, if it didn't, it did. Please let me know in the comments below. I would just absolutely love that. Um, and just thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, but most of all, as always, just thank you for being you and be well. Until next time.